No, really. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> what up, y'all? What up? Welcome, 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 welcome. It's your boy, LAC, and I'm happy you guys are here with me. Uh, before we get into it, you already know what I like to do is to show you guys something funny that we can laugh with and laugh about, and then we get into the video. So check out this funny video. I hope it makes you laugh because I actually found it funny. I used to be the most negative person on earth. Something bad happened. Why the f***? This had to f happen to me right now. But they say when you change your perspective, that's what miracles happen. Mike Tyson was on uh, on stage with Grant Cardone, the mogul when it comes to real estate and the businessman. Anyway, I found this video very funny and hilarious. Grant Cardone was asking Mike Tyson and basically saying where you are in life. Wasn't it all because of you and your hard work and your training? And listen to what Mike had to say because I think his response is how we need to be in life, especially as believers in Christ Jesus. So check it out. I was born for this. Bro, you, 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 no. God got me out of the sewer system to do this. You think think it was destiny? Absolutely. Or do you think do you think you went and grabbed it? No, I think it was ordained by God. Uh -huh. No doubt about it. I don't listen. I don't think much of myself. But what if you wouldn't have done the training? Mike? Excuse me? What if you didn't do the training? What if you didn't show up for the fights? What if you didn't It was it was all it was all involved with the package God gave me. This is what you're going to do, Mike. And that's what I did. No, really. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Yo, Mike Tyson is freaking hilarious. He looked at Pardon and was like, what's wrong with you, man? What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> you know, Grant could not say anything else. He was just like, listen, even, even when you look at the caption of the video, he was like, when a legend leaves you speechless. Shout out to Mike Tyson for representing, you know. Um, one thing I'm beginning to learn is long suffering. The fruits of the spirit is ve are very important. You know, meekness, humility, faith, love, long suffering, gentleness. These things are very, very important. When you go through things, when you go through areas in life where you feel like God is absent or you feel like he is not as close. You have to understand that even the disciples went through turmoils, tribulation, uh, trials, persecution. They experienced things that made them stronger. And Paul says, I, gl I, I glory in my tribulation. I'm learning that everything that we go through has a purpose. God will eventually use it for his good. Now, there are times where you put yourself in stupid situations and it's because of your stupid actions that get you in messed up uh, 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 circumstances and it's not God. But the other times where God actually allows things to happen so that it can benefit you down the road. And so Mike Tyson basically saying God allowed for everything to happen. I just had to go through it. It's true. You as a believer in Christ Jesus, remember, just because you're a Christian doesn't mean you're not going to go through things. And that's the lie a lot of Christians believe, which which is if I confess Jesus with my mouth and believe in my heart and, and repent of my sins, then automatically my life is going to be beautiful. Yes, your life will be beautiful given the sense that whatever you go through, you will have Jesus by your side and you will have the peace which surpasses all understanding. However, you're still going to go through it. Jesus had to endure the cross. He didn't bypass it. He had to suffer. So learning how to suffer well is a beautiful, beautiful gift. And learning how to go through process is a beautiful gift. There is nothing in this world that never goes through process that is great. Everything that is worth something goes through a process, even estates and, and, and real estate and houses, they go through a process from the foundation up. And depending on how much process goes into it, it results in how well that foundation and how strong that building is. Go through a process, learn that God is working all things out to the good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose. Your life is this, it's not supposed to be speak and span and no problems. Point that I'm trying to make is, although you may have problems in life, remember that God has overcome this world so you can lean on him, amen? Don't try to be this Christian that thinks that you're never going to go through anything. All you got to do is lift your hand and pray and God will take it away. No, there are times God says, I hear your prayer, but you're still going to go through this. Like Paul, I see that you've been asking me to remove this, this thorn from your, from your, from your flesh, but I'm not going to remove it. My grace is sufficient for you. So what if God tells you the same thing? Learn to be in God and abide in him and suffer, suffer well. Don't just try to get out of something just because you say God owes me a breakthrough. No, he don't. All right. That's all I got to say. All right. Let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe. Join the family. I'll see you when I see you.
It's your boy. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs>